Hey guys, it's Mary here. Welcome back to my channel. So, for the longest, I have wanted to flat iron my hair, and it's like the fear of heat damage kept me back. But I gave in. I wanted to see how long my hair is, and I was like, you know what, we're doing it. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I flat iron my hair and how I go from this to this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe. And if you're not new, welcome back. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. And in my previous video, I showed you guys how I prep to like put heat in my hair. So be sure to check that out. And the first thing I want to do is tie this side up because, bro. If I don't, I will be sweating. <laughs> okay, so this is my hair. This is what it's looking like. It is dry for the most part. Like just the middle is a little bit damp, but it's dry for the most part and it has no products in it. So I'm not trying to get heat damage. I am hoping and praying to God that I don't get heat damage. But yeah, to help prevent that, I don't know, it's just like this fear of mine to grow my hair so long and then the one time I use heat, I get heat damage. But yeah, so I am going to make a section in the back. This is going to be my first section. So for this section, I am going to spray it with some water. Then I'm going to comb it out because... I know there are some tangles and now it's time for heat protecting spray so I like to go in with this EVO NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer then I go in with an actual heat protecting spray and this one is by Tresemme so this is where the fun begins this is the Revlon One Stop Hair Dryer and I really love this for blow drying my hair straight. I personally like to do my hair on high because it's faster and easier for me but if you have finer hair then feel free to use it on low but I'm gonna use it on high. So this is basically one section on and the noise that y'all are hearing is my AC, like the heat and being in Trinidad where it's also hot it now working out. So yeah, my AC is on. Sorry about it if y'all could hear it, but this is what my hair is looking like. And now I'm just gonna do the other sections. So for this section all I'm doing is adding some chi silk infusion to my hair and everybody raves about this so I'm trying to see what all the hype is about <laughs> but I usually don't apply anything to my hair because I don't want it to be weighed down especially with something that is kind of oily so now I'm going to go in with small sections This side of my hair is always the hardest to do I don't know why this is the side I decided to do on camera <laughs> But yeah so the flat iron that I'm using is new me flat iron and I think it's on like 400 right now it doesn't have an LED screen for me to see what temperature it's on so I am hoping it's around 400 and I'm just gonna go through And I like to chase with a comb. Hey guys, just hopping on uh, for it's over because 
While I was flat ironing my hair, I didn't realize how much straighter this side of my hair that I'm actually doing on camera was going to come out. The other side that I did off camera, even though my strands didn't look straight, like overall my hair was left very fuzzy. And I think other than the fact that I used another product which was the Chi 44 Iron Guard and I didn't really like that product too much but my flat iron wasn't very high. I had it around 400 and obviously I was trying to protect my hair from getting heat damage but I think my hair texture needed more heat. So eventually when I was doing this side of my hair that you guys are seeing, I kind of tuned it up and I'm guessing it probably went to around 420. As I said, like I don't know the exact numbers because this flat iron does not have an LED screen for me to get the exact temperature that it is at right now. So yeah, I tuned up the heat on the flat iron and that made so much more of a difference as you can tell like i was shocked i was like wow this looks so much sleeker my ends looked so straight as compared to my other side look at me bringing it to the front i was like whoa that is so crazy now one thing is that i did go through the next side of my hair with the flat iron multiple times trying to get it straight and that didn't even help with the fuzziness. So I would say get a good flat iron, make sure that the heat is high enough to where it gets your hair straight but doesn't give you flat iron. So I'm not saying to flat iron your hair in 450. However, if you realize that your hair isn't getting very sleek, it could just be that you need a little bit more heat. I'm not saying to give your hair heat damage, I'm just saying that this is my experience other than the fact that I used a product that I didn't really like. I think one of the things that really helped me was making the heat a little bit higher. I was so excited about a flat iron in my hair that I didn't even realize that the side that I did off camera Basically, it looks like it just blow dried it. It doesn't look like I flat ironed it at all. But the next side, the next side, I'm living for it. Who is she now? <laughs> I finished my hair. This side of my hair looks a lot thinner than this side. And I have a little theory. So on this side, I was trying to use all of the products and i didn't really like this chi 44 iron guard for some reason it was really sticky so on this side i didn't use that but i used some more of this eva nyc main magic 10 in 1 primer and the silk infusion i know i was like i don't know what the hype is but now now i can tell like this side is really silky and smooth this side is smooth as well, but it's a little bit more frizzy. It's not as sleek as this side. So, I can't wait to show you guys how I trim my hair. That's what I'm going to do next. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. <laughs> I want to do like a more in-depth Curly is a straight hair routine where I start from scratch and take you guys on the process for maybe next year because I don't see myself putting heat on my hair in a really long time when it comes to flat iron in it because I think I've been doing my hair for like 5 hours now yeah that's not okay <laughs> but if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you want me to do in this series, as in my curly to straight hair. I'm already doing the products that I like, obviously how to straighten your hair, how to trim your hair, and in the future I want to do like the difference between my Dyson and the blow dryer that I use, which was from Revlon. 
but yeah let me know what you guys want to see it doesn't have to be straight hair related it could be makeup lifestyle anything just leave me video ideas and yeah that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching bye